Comscope has reimagined what a 6RRU discrete fiber solution will look like by introducing our fiber plug and play box. One assembly contains 60 meter length of 12 fiber trunks and six 10 meter lengths of two fiber armored jumpers. The fiber assembly has an IP67 rating, a sheet metal box, and a robust design while weighing just 12 kilograms, 26 pounds. At your warehouse, time will be saved receiving materials because one box will contain a 6RRU solution that connects to multiple RRU manufacturers. This will, in turn, lower the required inventory stock for a smaller inventory footprint within the warehouse. By reducing the materials, there are fewer parts to manage. While picking an order in the warehouse, quality is improved because there are only two line items required. One box contains the assembly and one box contains the hangers. When the crew picks up the site materials at the warehouse, they are lightweight and small for easy transportation. As the crew arrives on site, the installation time will be reduced because all materials are hoisted at one time. Open the carton and conduct an inventory of the parts. The carton contains a hardware kit, installation bulletin, and the box assembly. Flip cardboard box over and place box on top face down. Hardware kit contains the following items. Install the provided mounting hardware to the back of the mounting plate. Install hose clamps for pipe mounting. Install side mount bolts for angle mounting. For wall mounting, the UAAI can be used to reduce the size of the hoisting and tag points. Additional hardware may be required and should be provided by the contractor. Attach the hoist and tag lines to the box assembly. During the hoisting, Ensure that there is a free path so the assembly will not be damaged. To keep the trunk free of obstructions as cable is being lowered, remove the tag line from the mount and attach it to the swivel at the end of the mesh sock loop protecting the trunk breakout. Uncoil the fiber trunk by carefully unwinding the cable from the reel. Do not pull the trunk cable. Route the cable to the BBU. To secure the cable to the structure, push it into the support channel of the hanger and into a 3 quarter inch mounting hole. Continue to secure the fiber to the ladder in 1 meter increments. Additional hardware is available for structures without pre-punched holes. Dress the cable back to the box, securing it every meter. After the trunk is installed, secure the cable to the real flange using a cable tie. Do not over-tighten. If required, a contractor-supplied ground cable can be attached to the bottom of the box. The solution will connect six RRUs from multiple OEM manufacturers. Pull the cable tie to remove the weather shroud and weather boot from the box. For Ericsson RRUs, only the weather shroud is required. The weather boot can slide back into the box for storage. Route the jumper to the RRU. The cable is marked with a red flag label at 10 meters. Stop removing the jumper from the box immediately to ensure no damage occurs. Remove the weather shroud cap and connect to the RRU. Working back to the box, install approved mounting hardware to support the jumper. Place every meter to secure the jumper to the structure. If too much cable was removed, it can be threaded back into the box. The hanger closest to the box should be within 0.5 meters, 1.6 feet. For Huawei RRUs, the weather shroud and weather boot are not required. The weather boot can slide back into the box for storage, and the weather shroud removed after routing. The weather shroud should be kept on site for any future requirements. 
Connect to the RRU and install approved mounting hardware to support the jumper. Repeat jumper installation for additional RRUs. For Nokia RRUs, the weather shroud is not required. The weather shroud should be removed after routing and left on site for any future requirements. Connect to the RRU and install approved mounting hardware to support the jumper. SnapStack Plus Hanger SSH47 can be double or triple stacked to save valuable space on the structure. Repeat jumper installation for additional RRUs. If any additional excess jumper was removed from the box, it should be pushed back into the box for storage. Align the jumper in the center of the gland after the hanger installation is complete. One fiber plug-and-play solution has connected three OEM manufacturer RRUs within 10 meters of the box. There are no coiled cables at the top of the structure to potentially be damaged by weather, birds, or other work being performed on site. There was no need to handle the fibers except while connecting to the RRU, resulting in higher quality and a low probability of installation error.